What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Thursday edition of The Squeeze. I am Tyler Connie, and you might notice if you're watching on YouTube, bit of a new look. So we've got a nice new overlay across the top where you can find me over here, you might notice. These are the picks for today. So if you're watching, you can get a little preview of what I'm going to be breaking down. If you're listening on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, I appreciate it. Nothing's going to change there. Nothing's really going to change. It's just a bit of a different look. And full disclosure, this is the second time I'm recording this because the first time I did, the quality came out like garbage. So new look. Welcome to the squeeze. Welcome to NBA trade deadline day. Hence the Toronto Raptors jersey, the DeMar DeRozan jersey today. The Raptors have reacquired Jakob Pertl from the San Antonio Spurs for Kem Birch. And two second round draft picks and a protected first. Love this deal for the Raptors. Obviously, they are not going into tank mode, which if you're a Raptors fan, you probably should have known better with Musai and uh, Webster and how they operate. They are not rebuild guys. They're not tank guys. Raptors get their starting center. And I look for them to probably re-sign Pearl. He's only 27 years old. It's exactly what the team needed. So I like this deal very, very much. They're not really sending anything back the other way. It remains to be seen if Fred Van Fleet will stay, be traded. We'll see there. That's the biggest question mark. I think they try to re-sign Gary Trent, which is what I would do. Then, of course, the big news is Kevin Durant is on his way to the Phoenix Suns. The Nets have completely blown it up. Durant is gone. Irving is gone, Harden is gone, Nash is gone. So coming into this season, it was a very different team than it is today. Great for the Phoenix Suns. Love this trade for the Suns. Phoenix was my team when I was a kid before the Raptors were a thing. I love Charles Barkley. I love the Phoenix Suns. Uh, my wife actually got me a Phoenix Suns Steve Nash jersey for Christmas. Was going to wear that today. I was going back and forth to wear the Suns. Do the Raptors. Got to do the Raptors because they made a move and DeRozan was part of the Pirtle trade to begin with. So she got me this jersey too. So there you go. So, it's fun to talk about sports. It's one of the best times of the year. Let's talk about our bets. We did go one and two yesterday. We hit the over, the Canucks Rangers automatic over. That hit. We did not hit the Phoenix, uh, sorry, the Philadelphia 76ers plus four and a half. They lost to Boston. Then a bit of a heartbreaker with Minnesota and Dallas. I loved this bet. Uh, Minnesota Wild, the under came in, but Dallas scored a late empty netter to beat the Minnesota Wild by three goals. So the parlay didn't come in. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, we did have the straight under. We had a nice little parlay that hit of the Raptors, Cleveland Cavaliers, and New York Rangers. So overall, down 1.05 units on the day. All good. And now we get to today. It's a very exciting time of year. We got three sports. This is the first time I've bet three sports in a while, at least a very in a few weeks since the NFL. But consistently, we are back. We've got the NHL, we've got the NBA, and we've got the first major PGA tournament of the season. So let's get into it. We're going to start in Minnesota. We've got the Vegas Golden Knights on the road in Minnesota. We're going to employ our strategy, which has been very, very uh, good to us this season. I'm going to take the under six. For minus 105 at North Star Bets, Minnesota coming into this 27-21 to the under. Vegas is 28-19 and to the under. These are under teams. Look for Mark Andre Fleury to get the start tonight for Minnesota. He's 16-11 and with a 2.88 GAA and a 905 save percentage. And then on the flip side for Vegas, you've got Logan Thompson, who's also been very good. His goals against is under 2.7. He's got a save percentage of 9.13. Last time these teams met, it was a 3-0 win for Minnesota. That's the only time that they've played really in the last year. Uh, you'd have to go back to 21 previous to that. But when you look at the recent trends, uh, Golden Knights have gone under Four of their last five games. The under is 4-0 and one in their last five when their opponent scores two or less goals in their previous game. We know Minnesota just scored one. Under is 3-0 and one in their last four against the Central. And under is 8-0 and one in their last nine on the road. Now, when you look at Minnesota, under is 5-0 and on their last five. Under is 9-1 and one and one in their last 11 home games. Um, and the under is 4-1 and one, uh, in their last five when the Wild scores two or less goals in their previous game. So these are just two under teams. I look for that trend to continue. And we're going to take the under six for minus 105 at North Star Bets. Shifting to the NBA, we've got a good matchup between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Los Angeles Lakers. Bucks come into this red hot, okay? They've won eight straight basketball games, nine of their last 10. They're 29 and 23 ATS. Lakers, even though LeBron is the new scoring champ, they lost that game. They are stumbling right now. They've lost two straight games. They're 13 and 13 at home and 25 and 29 ATS. Uh, Anthony Davis is probable for tonight. LeBron is questionable. He's basically questionable all season. You never really know if he's going to play or not. 
I still like the Bucks to cover the spread. It's minus 105 for minus one at, at uh, DraftKings. I like that to happen. When you look at um, what the Milwaukee Bucks have done lately, they're five and one ATS in their last six versus a losing record team. They are are one and four ATS in the last five Thursday games, but I mean, what are you going to do about that? It seems pretty random. Lakers have been brutal. Three and 13 ATS in their last 16 Thursday games. Now that's a trend for you. Lakers are one and six ATS in their last seven after allowing more than 125 points in their previous game. Four, sorry, 0 and four ATS in their last four games playing on one day's rest. So Lakers are not playing well. Going to be interesting. Russell Westbrook is gone. You know, D'Angelo Russell, what's that going to look like? You know, we'll see whether he plays, whether he doesn't play. I don't know. I think the Bucks are just, they're just rolling right now. I like the Bucks on the spread, minus five for minus 110 at DraftKings. And now we get to the PGA Tour. It's the first major event of this season. You're going to have 23 of the top 25 players in the world at this tournament, which I like. And I'm going to have some side bets sprinkle all over. Because there's so many guys in this field, so many top players in this field, I think John Rahm is the favorite at plus 700. So this is a time where if you want to sprinkle four or five bets on the winner, now is the time. DraftKings is doing a plus 250 boost on any winner, so I'm going to have money on my boy Rory McIlroy there. But we're going to play it a little bit safer here on the squeeze. I'm going to take Hideki Matsuyama at plus 140 to be a top 20 finish, okay? His resume is really good at this tournament. He has had back-to-back victories at the Phoenix Open in 2016 and 2017. He did have to withdraw in 2018 with an injury, but he has had five top 10 finishes in the seven times that he has played here if you exclude the withdrawal, okay? He tied for eighth last year here. He won the 2021 Masters Tournament. Now he has battled neck injuries last season in the very early part of this calendar year, but he seems to be on the mend. He finished uh, tied for ninth at Torrey Pines two weeks ago. He's only finished outside of the top 20 once in the eight years here, excluding the withdraw. And he's, uh, he's on some good rest with two weeks off. He knows this course well. He's won here two times before. You're getting plus 140 for him to finish in the top 20. I really, really, really like this spot. It is hard to, you know, analyze a lot of golf aside from what the players have done lately. And sort of, you want to talk about, some people really want to follow trends in sports. I like following trends. Some people are anti-trends. Golf is one where I think trends matter a little bit more. When guys are playing really, really well, that can carry them through a whole season. And the opposite is true. If they're playing terribly, that can carry through the entire season as well. So I think you're getting really good odds for Hideki Matsuyama to finish in the top 20 at this tournament. And again, we're going to be sprinkling a lot of different bets all over the place there. So let's run down this card for Thursday. We've got the Vegas Golden Knights and the Minnesota Wild to go under six for minus 105 at North Star Bets. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks to cover minus five for minus 110 at DraftKings. And we've got Hideki Matsuyama to finish in the top 20 for plus 140 at the Phoenix Open. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at Tyler Conian for more picks and props throughout the day. TikTok and Instagram for just the portion, just the picks portion of this podcast. Uh, audio versions available on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. So we're getting into a really exciting time of the year. The PGA is ramping up. We've got the Super Bowl on Sunday. You know, we're we're being able to change it up. And uh, it's NBA trade line day is trade deadline day as well. So it's a great day to talk about sports. Let's just do that. Have a great Thursday and Let's talk sports.